Here's the story, folks. The other day, I'm sitting at my desk and I get a message from a um, frequent caller on this program who people might be familiar with. And he says, I am on hold for the Dennis Prager show. Can I conference you in? And of course I said yes and freaked out and was like, everybody turn on the cameras and, and whatnot. And this is what happened. First, we're going to show the, um, this is the Prager feed. Yep, and then so we will is... show the behind the scenes feed. From Salem Radio Networks. And the necessity of God, what's the difference? Uh, Yakima, Washington, Ronald, hello. <laughs> hey, D-Man, this is uh, Ronald. How are you? Well, thank you. Pause it for one second. So now, I don't watch Dennis Prager enough or at all to know whether everybody refers to him as the D-Man. I don't think that so. Was just, I, I, <laughs> I think that was I, editorialized. I that was just a, a stylistic <laughs> choice by our caller, Ronald, from Yakima, Washington. Um, he doesn't use his last name, but I believe it's Ray Gunn. Uh, continue. I've got a son that uh, he kind of went off the deep end going to going to college, and I think that uh, what you said earlier is a good point, that the clergy and the parents don't do a good enough job presenting the case. And one of the ways that we failed to do that is by really debating people on the other side, you know, and, and really presenting the argument. So that's why I was wondering if maybe you wanted to debate Sam Cedar. He's on the line with me right now. Okay, so let me let me tell you something. Uh, <laughs> Sam Cedar uses my name to get publicity. Pause it for one second. Now you could hear me say hi, Dennis, and then I was immediately dropped. I of course, uh, you know, continued talking. Didn't know at the time. Um, let's go back. Do we have the other one, or do we need to? Play I, I think we should out? play a little bit of how Dennis decides to respond to you before okay, we go right. and say okay, what you had said to him. Yeah. Uh, Sam Cedar. There we go. The college, and I think that uh, what you said earlier is a good point that the clergy and the parents don't do a good enough job presenting the case. And one of the ways that we failed to do that is by really debating people on the other side, you know, and, and really presenting the argument. So that's why I was wondering if maybe you wanted to debate Sam Cedar. He's on the line with me right now. Okay, so let me let me tell you something. Uh, Sam Cedar uses my name to get publicity. I made this point the other time. The guy lied about me, uh, claimed that I was divorced three times, said it like it was a truism. I was divorced twice. It's not a little thing. He lies about me, and he uses me. Whenever he mentions me, he gets far more hits than when he doesn't mention me. I don't know who he is. Well, I'd say 1% of my Seems listeners like know who he is. And I would say 80% of his listeners know who I am. Okay. It's an old trick. Let me raise my stature by going on the same stage as someone with stature. Doesn't work with me, unfortunately, for the person, but fortunately for the public. I have debated really, really classy atheists, <laughs> the, the best ones. It's online. Christopher Hitchens and I debated a number of times. He cites he cites it in his own autobiography yeah. before he sadly passed away. That's probably where I can end it there. Okay. Now, so, a couple of things. All right. First off, I need to issue a correction. I was indeed off and misstated. I was off by 33% the amount of divorces that Dennis Prager has gone through. He has been married three times, divorced only twice. Um, I obviously said that he had been divorced three times because being divorced three times is so much more representative of the way I feel about Dennis Prager than if I was to say he's been divorced two times. 
However, the fact is he's only been divorced two times. He's married three times. Uh, I just want to say that right, right off the bat. It's big of you. Thank you. It is a correction that I issue. I've been living with this, uh, with this, with this hanging over my head, and it is, it is. I have to say, a relief to get it off my chest. Um, I, I, I'm not sure I was 100% confident or co uh, conscious of uh, that I had said three as opposed to two. Um, I also want to say that. Contrary to uh, the D-man's um, claim, we don't really do so well when we mention Dennis Prager. No. He's not, he doesn't really perform very well. That's more uh, of a labor of love. It's more of a labor of love. And the thing is, it's also a weird thing that he's saying I'm sharing his stage with the phone callers because am I elevating callers dramatically when they call, I mean, that's why I called in on his platform. How does that help me? However, with that said, the day after I did that, I was walking around out uh, on the streets of uh, Brooklyn. Couldn't go 15 feet without getting stopped. Weren't you the voice on Dennis Prager's show the other day? Didn't you say, hi, Dennis? I had to sign a lot of autographs because of it. But here is where I want to take issue with what Dennis Prager said. He said that he has debated many classy atheists. And that is proof that he doesn't need to debate me. Now, I think his assessment of me being unclassy is uh, arguable, but I am willing to stipulate that I do not have the class of the people that he normally debates. But his characterization of me as, a, as an atheist, I don't perceive myself as an atheist per se. I don't have a very strong belief in God, but I'm not an agnostic. And I certainly wouldn't debate him on the existence of God. Really, it would be more uh, about his uh, fundamentalism that I'm more interested in. But let's uh, let's play uh, the behind the scenes thing just to get a sense of yeah. how much work I put into that and how unclassy he really was. I went on to his platform, onto his phone call. He accepts phone calls. There was no reason for him to hang up on me in that way. It was unclassy. Try it, my friends. <laughs> $19.95 for three weeks. Relief. Ronald Reagan has me on hold and has three-wayed me in with Dennis Prager. <laughs> it's me sped up. The Dennis Prager Show. Returns in five seconds. Speed up a little bit more. Long intro. Yeah. Two huge answers. One is that they swim in a, a secular, even anti-religious sea. Get up a little bit more. Air, the other is the failure of religious parents and clergy to teach. A case, explain a case for religion. And it begins not with God's existence, but with God's necessity. The number of people who believe in God in this world, and for whom and it has uh, no And we're just about there. Of God. This guy talks slower difference? than me. I, know. <laughs> I went back twice. Uh, Yakima, Washington. Much. Ronald, hello. Hey, D-Man, this is uh, Ronald. How are you? Well, thank you. 
So I've got a son that uh, he kind of went off the deep end going to, going to college. And I think that uh, what you said earlier is a good point, that the clergy and the parents don't do a good enough job presenting the case. And one of the ways that we failed to do that is by really debating people on the other side, you know, and, and really presenting the argument. So that's why I was wondering if maybe you wanted to debate Sam Cedar. He's on the line with me right now. Hi, Dennis. I'm here, and I would contend that part of the reason why <laughs> folks have uh, not um, are, are less religious is because they find that your brand of religion oppressive. Oh shoot! He hung up on us. He hung up on us. <laughs> I'm recording it on my phone. Uh. Pretty good segue, do you think? No, I thought you did a good job there. Uh, I thought you did a pretty good job. Yeah. Well, <laughs> there we go. Yeah, that's it, folks. Uh, we gave it the old college try. The thing he but, says about, though, like how, um, you know, 80% of our audience knows who he is and only 1% of his audience knows who you are. I think, you know, you could quibble with the numbers, but also that same thing is true of, like, only 1% of like AOC's fans know who Dennis Prager is and 99% of Dennis Prager's audience knows who AOC is. Dennis Prager still wants to like debate AOC for like, for like, um, publicity. Yeah. And I got news for you. I would imagine a lot of Christopher Hitchens fans didn't know who Dennis Prager was. Um, right, yeah. <laughs> I mean the, but the idea that for, for, you know, all of a sudden, all of these, um, right wingers, it always becomes about platforming and promotion uh, in this for the only time, right? Mm -hmm. Every other time it's the facts don't care about your feelings. And the important thing is the ideas and et cetera, et cetera. Uh, and the bottom line is these guys just sort of claim like, well, I don't want to promote him in some way. I mean, they understand the, the, the game, but, Aren't there ideas in such a way so uh, compelling that and their arguments so strong that if they were to do this, it would destroy me? Yeah. Yeah. It, they, you know, they don't want to do it to us. I don't think they, they don't want to demoralize the left that much. Um, we have a clip of Dennis Prager previously talking about his attitude towards how the left in debate, by the way. We should just play half of this from uh, yeah, let's uh, play this. producer Forrest. I'll give you another interesting thing that people don't reflect on. We ache to have them on our shows. We ache to debate them, but they won't debate us and they won't come on our shows and they won't us have us on their shows. I ache to debate them. That's why I was wondering That's if maybe you wanted to debate yeah. Sam Cedar. He's on <laughs> They're aching, aching to debate. At one point he was like he wanted uh, Todd Nahasi Coates. I mean, if you if you use the ton, if you use the my fans don't know his fans type of uh, calculation, I would say that there is an extremely small population of people who um, who read Tana Hasey Coates who know who Dennis Prager is. Yeah, it, it took me doing this job like two years before I knew who Dennis Prager was. <laughs> yeah, and that we follow right wing lunatics. Yeah. But, uh, really impressive. Very compelling guy.